Hello again. Proud people of the internet. That's right. After months, a whole semester of, you know, stress of, well, that pretty much sums it up. Just being stressed. I'm finally going to make another video. Um, this is actually going to be more of a topic because ever since I find out, found out, it's actually more tied into April 1st, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but I'm just going to say that in all the days that I've watched TV or, you know, watched stuff on the internet, I've never been so joyous. In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in case you haven't lived in the 90s, early 90s as I have, I'm just going to get too straight to the point. I, that's right, people. I'm talking about Toonami. That's right. The weekly slash Saturday night block that hit Cartoon Network right in the early 90s to the mid to um, 2008 of uh, Cartoon Network's block. It's not only one of Cartoon Network's most successful block or really successful sensations it ever had in the past well, decade of good shows, but re it also really is a part of my childhood. I've been... People would say that, oh, Toonami's the gateway to anime fans that were born in the 90s. Well, that it may be true in some respect, Toonami has indeed salute aside, I don't know if, that, if that's the right way to say it, but uh, just pretty much uh, opened my, <clears throat> or quenched my taste for anime, mainly anime, and just action, action shows in general. The anime that got me into anime, most people would, would you know, relate to me is, of course, Dragon Ball Z. Now, how I discovered Dragon Ball Z is a very faint childhood memory. In fact, I think I can kind of remember clear as day. I just basically re was at, like, a parent's friend's house, and I was just a little kid, innocent little kid, and I saw, like, a bunch of, like, guys who are probably around my age now watching, like, this DBZ movie it was like the one with, uh, was it, like, Fusion Reborn, where, you know, Goku and Vegeta, you know, fuse into Gogeta, facing against, uh, God, I can't remember that enemy's name, like, Patera or something. It's basically like, you know, this reddish, like, uh, being in hell or whatever. They basically go to hell and just fight this creature. And all these, like, DBZ villains that came back to life, pretty much came back to life and conquered the Earth. And then, I don't know, it was like my first Dragon Ball Z experience. And then, you know, of course, the almost memor memorable uh, Ocean dubbed when they first showed it way back when. With Goku, with Raditz appearing on Earth for the first time in Goku's Island. And that's, like, basically my first official introduction for DBZ. My other animes that I like in Toonami, gosh, there are so many, but to name a few, I already stated DBZ, Yu Yu Hakusho, Rurouni Kenshin, Tenshi Muyo, you name it. I love lots of the shows that they showed. And yeah, even most recent, even with the recent Naruto thing, because really, if my, bro if my older brother hasn't said anything recommending to me Naruto, or rather, or even, uh, just consider, I probably wouldn't consider checking out Naruto at all. In fact, I probably wouldn't give it as much decent praise as it is now. In fact, I find Naruto kind of dull in recent manga chapters and stuff. I mean, I, I still read it just because I want to know how it ends and all. I'm not going to give any, I'm not going to even go into what's going on because I, I'm trying to avoid spoilers and pretty much I'm just praising on the fact that Toonami's back. 
Okay. I pretty much discuss a, some of the shows that I like. Time to get down to the point. In case you people have been really kept up with Twitter accounts or don't really have Twitter accounts, um, it's been confirmed, and I repeat, I may I will post a link to it on the video description when I can get to the editing process once I upload this through my mobile phone because I don't have any video software to. But it's getting to the point on May on uh, May. I believe the 26th of May, 2012. Toonami is expected to return. It's been confirmed on Anime News Network and, well, Anime News Network is a news provider, and Adult Swim. Adult Swim has said, um, we've heard you. And then that could probably mean that Toonami is returning. I cannot fathom how happy I am right now. Toonami has always, will be, and has been the borderline of my childhood. The TV shows that I, the TV, anything that I, uh, okay, anything that I look for on TV, Toonami is that block that I always really look forward to the most. As a kid, I would anxiously await for Dragon Ball Z, new episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, and this is way back when where internet was not as accessible or it's not as mainstream on YouTube as it is now. Just pretty much any show that I have in mind, I would always want to angst back to look up a Toonami. And I've been doing that since, you know, even to its last airing. Like with good reason shows that I find cool, like with Zatch Bell and, uh, well, what was it? Besides Naruto. I don't know, many shows, like new Funim the new Funimation Double One Piece was good. Oh, uh, yes. I, I'm gonna, there's another thing I admit. I was a little bit exposed to the 4Kids dub at first, and to be honest, I didn't know what to think of it. But the Japanese version, of course, is the best. Thumbs up to that. One Piece is, like, one of the best anime of I've seen in Shonen in a while. No comparison to Naruto at the moment. Although, Naruto kind of does have a place in my heart because, you know, I was introduced to it and kind of talked into watching it. And I was a CES fan back when I was 14, so... Wearing those headbands like a motherfucker. <laughs> Excuse my language. Uh, yeah. So basically, I'm, I'm just rambling right now. Just, Toonami is, is back. Toonami is coming back. That's my main point. Toonami is coming back. I'm gonna friggin' spam the Twitter war. The tw um, friggin' uh, Adult Swim's page with that, those tweets, man. I'm just gonna keep going because you know, I'm not. Li I'm not. I'm not. I'm not keeping the fighting down because just because they confirm and everything does doesn't mean it's probably gonna last. And we need to keep this support while we can. Or keep it to last for ever this time. So then the next generation of kids that, you know, aren't are as fortunate enough to be exposed to the greatness that is Toonami. This is the innovation that we need. This is the revolution that needs to be spread out. Of exposing the next generation to good and great block of anime and action shows. This is the exact, this is exactly what they want, they should have. And yes, one may argue, oh, this is the age of the internet. We don't exactly need Toonami. Well, yeah, the age of the internet, that is true, but on the other hand, Toonami will bring more newer fans into because remember there are people there are people that can't really afford internet and they that it may not be as of a high ratio as it uh, as it was back then but it's still a ratio to be considered but the point is tsunami will bring a lot more good than bad if anything <laughs>